When implementing CRUD operations on your database, you want to make sure and check that no other user has modified a value in your database while you have tried to save changes to a specific record. This is why concurrency tokens are very important. If a property is configured as a concurrency token, then Entity Framework Core will check that no other user has modified a value that is in the database when you're saving changes to a record. EF Core uses an optimistic concurrency pattern, meaning it will assume the value has not changed and try to save the data, but throws an error if it finds that the value has been changed. So we can implement these concurrency tokens on specific columns in our DB context and for a specific entity. And like we did before, we can implement it with data annotations, a fluent API, or the best way to do this is to implement a timestamp to associate inside of your entity. So if we come down here, we can go to our person class, and this is our entity. And let's say right here we want to check and make sure last name has a concurrency check before we implement any operation on this entity. So we can come in here and say concurrency check. And what concurrency check states, it specifies that a property participate in optimistic concurrency checks. The importance of optimistic concurrency is that you want to make sure that this value is locked so that no changes take place or you check if a change has take place on that specific record inside of your database. So right now we can implement that on our specific property right here. And then we can also go to our application DB context and as we did before, we can implement it via Fluent API. So we can come in here and let's say concurrency check. And then from here, this is where we can say model builder again, dot entity. And the entity is on person. So we want to come in here and say person. And then inside a person, this is where we can implement as we've done before property and then we can say right here let's say p say x and then we want to say last name and then we want to say is concurrency token and this configures whether the property should be used as a concurrency token when a property configured as concurrency token the value in the database will be checked when an instance of an entity type is updated or deleted from the db context save changes so right there, we have that. And this is a way to implement it via the Fluent API. Another great way of doing this to associate different concurrency tokens is to have a timestamp associated with your DB context. So we can come over here and let's go back to person and let's create right here a timestamp. And we're gonna say prop, tab, tab. And we could say right here, let's make this a byte. And we wanna say time stamp and we want to associate this with the property of timestamp and right here it specifies a data type of the column as row versioning so this associates a timestamp a timestamp is a property where a new value is generated by the database every time a row is inserted or updated the property is also treated as a concurrency token this will ensure that you will get an exception if anyone else has modified a row that you're trying to update since you queried the data. It's very important to implement timestamps for your concurrency check inside of your different operations. You can also do the Fluent API as we did before. So let's go back here and we can make this right here, model builder, make it on the entity again. Let's say property x. And we could say right here timestamp. And then what we can associate on the timestamp right here, value generated on add or update. So we can associate that the property to have a value generated only when saving a new or ex existing instance anytime we implement an insert or an update. So right here we put that there. And then we can go right here is concurrency token that checks whether that specific record that you're querying has been changed previously from the last time you queried that specific information so this is how we implement concurrency checks inside of ef core 
We put a timestamp attribute associated with the specific timestamp property that we created here. We also implement a concurrency check on the last name property of our person class. We implemented a Fluent API way to implement last name as is a concurrency token method to check that no value has changed in the database since the last time you query the data. And then we also generated a value generated on add or update associated with our timestamp property on our person class. And then we're also checking if that record has changed since the last time you queried it as well. This is how you implement concurrency tokens in ASP.NET Core.